everyone and welcome to Kwanda Nation. Um, it's been a while since we posted a video, but I've been busy. But anyways, I want to thank you for tuning in today. If this is your first time, welcome. And if you've been here before, we want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, we ask you to please do so. Just smash that subscribe button and turn on your notification for more videos. Today, uh, I want to be doing cauliflower fufu. And I ask you to stay tuned. I already went ahead and uh, cleaned up the cauliflower. And I have it in this blender bowl that we're going to be blending. So I ask you to stay tuned for the cauliflower uh, fufu. We're going to do this together. Last time I made it, I wasn't too satisfied with it. It was a little soft because I didn't put enough binder in it. So I plan on putting enough binder today. And what I'm going to be using for my binder will be oatmeal. So we're going to go through with this and then I'll show you the oatmeal and the cauliflower. So let's get started. So here I'm going to put my blender on the base. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. But... Okay, I'm not gonna add any water to this. Usually you should add water to but this blender is a high power blender and I really do not need water, but let's see how that will work out. I'm gonna turn it on and start and pause for a few minutes. blending okay. I'm going to put a little water in there for the blending process so yeah I have about half cup of water I'm going to pour it in there to help the blending go faster and smoother so we're gonna do that I'm gonna scrape it around the bowl a little bit yeah it's actually blending real fine so let's just scrape around the bowl and let the blender do the rest of it. what we have is really really puree puree and that's how we're gonna be cooking so let's do the oatmeal I'm just gonna use regular oatmeal but I'm gonna grind it in my coffee grinder and after that we will start the cooking process okay okay so this is a coffee grinder I got this from Walmart for about fifteen dollars. You do not have to use a coffee grinder if you are doing oatmeal. You can use the same blender, but since I had already uh, put the cauliflower in the blender and it was wet, I couldn't use it to do the oatmeal. So I'm gonna use this coffee grinder for the oatmeal, and you can also use tapioca for your binder. You can use tapioca. And the reason you put this in there because cauliflower has very little starch. It cannot hold together like fufu. So that's why you add either the, the 
tapioca flour or some oatmeal. And that's all gonna be done today. Making the, our own oatmeal flour to add to the I got um we already did I got this much oatmeal I blended like I blend uh half cup or maybe more but it was not quite one cup that I blended and then we have the cauliflower so we're gonna be using this pot I'm just gonna put it in this pot and mix it very well before I turn the stove on Um, I don't know how much. I'm just going to keep adding there until it get to a certain consistency. So this is one spoon. Yeah, that's a lot of oatmeal because I want this to be as good. So here I'm just going to mix it. And this is a good combination because the cauliflower is healthy as well as the oatmeal. Oatmeal is rich in fiber, so it's cauliflower. The cauliflower has a lot of fiber and other rich nutrients and minerals. So once you combine them, you are doing good. And uh, since I started my cauliflower rice and making my own uh, yogurt, doing cauliflower, rice, quinoa, and not just even with regular soup, I have seen a tremendous difference in my gut health as well as my cholesterol. So you can try this, I urge you to try it. Now I have this looking like this, I don't know if that's going to be good, but we're going to try it and we're going to start cooking it and see how it turns out. Well, I've covered this part a little bit and once it gets to that point that it starts steaming and all that, the steam can actually cook this. So I cover the pot and I'll let it go through that stage and then we will start stirring. And once I start stirring, it will come back on the camera. So we can see here that it's getting kind of it's changing color around the edges we're gonna start stirring And we got it set to medium. Um, the stove is set to medium. And this is coming on really fine. Really, really good. It got some volume to it. try cooking it in the microwave I haven't so maybe next time I will because I still have some leftover that I'm gonna eat sometime during the week but yes I'm gonna freeze this and I have some leftover oatmeal as well and this right here is for me just two servings guys I'm the only person I eat this ah. the only one that eat this stuff so here we go with this I 
don't know if you add some more. Add some more oatmeal to it. It feels kind of soft. You'll be like, why you didn't get cooked oatmeal fufu, huh? Well, I want to mix it up. I am going to... I didn't add any water except for the water that I used to blend the um, cauliflower. So I didn't add any more water to this. I'm going to scrape around the edges. And we will see what's up. And scrape the spoon and scrape it around the edges. It does look good. All right. So I've been doing stuff and not um, sharing it with you. Today I'm sharing this oatmeal and cauliflower fufu. It's mean that cauliflower with a little oatmeal just to put it together. And you can still, with it like this, and you want it still a little harder, you can put some tapioca in it. I just prefer the oatmeal. So let's put uh, maybe a spoonful of water around the edges. This is not like our regular food that you have to put a lot of water in. So you just want enough water just to cook it. So guys, this is what we have so far. This is what we are working with. And um, I went ahead and added some you know, two spoons of tapioca. And this is what it brought it to. So after about four spoons of oatmeal flour, two spoons of tapioca, this is our fufu. But I'm gonna let I'm gonna put it in a bowl and let it get cold, and we will see it after that. We'll test it out. Gotta test this boy out. Alright. So this is my fufu. And look at that. I mean, you could make it harder by adding more oatmeal or more tapioca, but this is it. And it has that texture and that volume. I'm so sorry for the noise in the background. So guys, this is the fufu and you see that? This is it. I could definitely add more oatmeal to make it harder if I want to because it's not as hard as we, mm. but yeah, this is it. Yeah, so um, we have come to this point that this is going to be going down with some GP soup. Mm. This is good. This is really good, and the soup just set it off. Got sparks going on my head. Anyways, this is what we have. And thank you for watching Quandaya Nation. Thank you for having us in your home. Thank you for supporting this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will see you next time. Bye.